Hey everyone, welcome back to Feelings, Feeling, Feelings. I am Desbel Mandel. This is Zachary Edward. What's up, y'all? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> this is a podcast on self discovery, and I always start at the beginning of the episode saying that I'm not a therapist, neither is Zach. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, we're just here to provide tools and, you know, share our journey, basically. Yeah, just an open conversation about our healing and like maybe if you take something from it, you do. If you don't, you don't. Period. Huh. Trained him well. <laughs> He's been on the podcast when we died. I know, I'm getting it together. <laughs> so today, Zach's been waiting for this moment his whole life. Literally. Zach is going to give me a tarot card reading. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Wait, hold up my deck. So this is the Mystic Mondays tarot card. Why it sounds like ASMR right now? Yeah. The Mystic Mondays tarot card deck. You have to do it, sec- like say in a sensual voice. Sexual voice. This is the Mystic. <laughs> my best friend Paige actually got me this um, for my birthday one year, I think, mm-hmm. or Christmas. I, no, I think it was my birthday. And I literally was like, oh my God, I was so happy because they're such pretty cards. Give us a definition of tarot. Like, what is a tarot? Um, basically, a tarot card reading is like a divination reading. It can be to help you through just things through your life that you want, you have questions about. Most to me, tarot isn't like. I mean, to other people can be way different. This is just my definition of it. Mm -hmm. I don't look for tarot for like, tell me the future. I think that tarot for me, it just gives me a better understanding of where I'm at and what I'm doing and what I can do better. Mm -hmm. Because each card has like a different meaning, different tarot card readers reading things different or read things differently. Mm -hmm. So one thing to them might not be the same thing to me. So I just like, I think it just gives me a better perspective of where I'm at. And I think learning perspective in a situation can make it better no matter what mm-hmm. so that's why i use tarot for that's like what it is for me yeah you're like tarot king i love it yeah i, I love, love tarot it. too but you love it oh i love like tarot. i en- i enjoy it and like i do pull cards like i don't pull them every morning i used to mm-hmm. um i think when i was really going through it, i pulled tarot cards um just because i'm like tell me mm-hmm. which direction i should go because i didn't know but now it's like if ever i'm downstairs because i keep them downstairs um whenever if for some reason, like, I'm like, oh, my de- car- uh, my tarot deck's in there. I'm like, oh, I should pull it. Like, anytime it mm-hmm. calls to me, mm-hmm. I just pull a card and I read the book. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, what made you get into tarot reading? I've always had, like, this affinity for cards. Like, Oh, that's right. You told me yeah. that. Like, even when I was younger, like, I mean, obviously, like, Pokemon cards, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, stuff like that. I always collected cards no matter what. But I always had this, like, thing for tarot mm-hmm. or, like just cards in general. Like I wanted, I always wanted to play with cards or play card, card games, whatever. He's a card kind of girl. He's a card kind of girl. <laughs> so then even, I remember the first tarot, tar- tarot card deck I saw was at like a friend's house. And mm-hmm. I was just like, this is cool. Like I didn't even know what it was. I was like, these are cool. Mm-hmm. And then she explained them to me and I was like, wow, I want to like get into that. But it wasn't until like recently that like I really like got into because seeing on TikTok and stuff like that, I was mm-hmm. like, oh, I was like, if other people can do it, it can't be that hard to learn. So you know me, I like randomly get obsessed with things yeah. monthly and yeah. that was it. And now I'm like still stuck on it. Yeah. I don't do it as much anymore. Mm-hmm. But you know, when I first started, I wanted to do it for everybody and learn everything and da 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 da. Yeah. So now it's a little bit less, but yeah, I still I, like doing it. I actually think uh, tarot TikTok turned me off mm. because... I don't know. It felt silly when someone's like, if you're seeing this, this reading's for you. And I'm mm-hmm. like, a million people have seen this. Yeah. Like, and I'm sure there's some magic to it. Mm-hmm. But to me, I'm like, I'm special. Yeah. <laughs> like, I want it for me, you know? Yeah, yeah. If it's for everyone. Yeah. You know, it seems kind of silly, but maybe I just don't understand that. You well, know? they have it as like, so they call it like the collective. Mm-hmm. So they'll be like, this is the collective energy that people are going through. Mm-hmm. So naturally, like, if somebody is watching oh, it's my cookie oh no <laughs> get her sorry it's okay that thought. okay, okay. Go ahead. so naturally it's like okay if you are interested in tarot or you're meant to hear the message you'll find that tarot card video mm-hmm. it'll go through any type of way versus somebody who doesn't watch tarot doesn't like tarot the message obviously isn't for them so they call it like the collective reading or like for the collective but people like they don't need readings every single day like how like you'll see it on tar- or tarot tiktok or something you don't need a tarot reading every day okay, but what it, yeah mm-hmm. okay, what i was gonna ask you know how there's a collective like you said yeah reading like what if you follow a bunch of tarot card readers mm-hmm. accounts that's all you're seeing on your for you page mm-hmm. so it's still like a for the collective reading but also there's messages in there that like 
aren't for you. Yeah. Like there's something. That's true. Cause I connect to some things. I'm like, oh, that's. Yeah. That's for me. Like for me, like if I'm like, cause you know, I watch tarot videos on like YouTube and stuff. Mm-hmm. So like if I'm watching one, one, I don't watch them every day anymore. Cause it just, it's too much. But if I watch one and I start to like doze off or like I'm not really paying attention to it, I know that's not for me. There's not a message in there for me. But if there's one where I'm really like electric about it, like I feel strong about it. I'm mm-hmm. like, oh, that was for me. Mm. So, I mean, yeah. You know what I mean? It's just I'm, the way you I'm like with that it. too. It's very energy based, I think. Yeah, yeah. Energetic. Ener- I know, energetic. Now that we know, we're kind of energetic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Zach is going to do a tarot reading on me. So mm-hmm. er, before we started, you were like, what kind you want? Like, what mm-hmm. are the options? So like you can ask about, I mean, you can just ask about anything. You can ask about like love, work. What, what if I do like, what is uh, this year? Yeah, you can do that. You okay. can like, what, what's in like store for you this year? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Because I normally, so for mine, when I, because I read mine sometimes, I'll just do like Do a, not bend them. Remember? I'm not going to bend them, I swear. Um, I just like let, I always just like let my cards just like roll out or like. Mm-hmm. And then let that happen. Oh, the, if you turn it over, the the you could flip those over. The, that was just my last pull because mm, okay. I keep it out in case I want to. Um, I need to make sure that they're not. Oh, I so, no, I do do reverse sometimes. Do you? Yeah. Oh, I don't do reversals. Really? Because I feel like the deck is going to tell me what it needs to tell me either way. Well, you don't have to f- just know if it's reverse. Oh, okay. Right, reverse. Oh, yeah, true. I forget this is your deck. I don't want to mess it up. Yeah, that's true, because that's true. so I read from the book. Let me see mm-hmm. the book. So Mystic Mondays has a little book that comes with it. See? Mm-hmm. And like in it, like if you pull a card, this side is not reversed and this mm-hmm. side is reversed. So it tells you. What are, what are your opinions? It's just the one that it came up to. Oh. <laughs> the star? Why? What does it mean? <laughs> I'll tell you about the star after. Okay. <laughs> is it because it's an Aquarius? It's something similar to that. It's okay. My face just got really red under this. I feel it. Okay. okay. <laughs> tell me about it later. I'll tell you about it later. Okay. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. So we'll do a general. So I'm going to uh, shuffle first. What's And I have to think. Yeah. What's in store for me this year? Mm-hmm. 2022. What does 2022 have in store for me for my highest good? Mm-hmm. You have to say that or the magic doesn't work. Yeah. I need it to be. I like it as specific as you can be. Like that's what I like. Because it gives me a better huh. understanding of like what it is. I should make it more. Just as you can make it as specific as you want. Because like I'm going to what I'm doing now is I'm shuffling it. So my energy is in it so I can read it uh-huh. and then I'll have you shuffle it. So your energy is in it. OK, I'll bring it back and then reshuffle a little bit and then I'll lay them out. OK, mm-hmm. but you can say it out loud. You can. I'm trying think to think it. what I want it to be. Yeah, you can do whichever one. Sometimes for people that I've done it for, if they don't say it, I'll like I'll let them not say it. So that way they're more impressed. <laughs> but either way. OK. <laughs> I'm like, I'll tell you guys. No, just yeah, kidding. Yeah. You, you have your headphones. <laughs> I don't have headphones on. No, no. Like, I basically want to know what is in store for me uh, in 2022. Mm-hmm. Can I give two questions? So it's two different cards? You, you can do, no, I'm going to do, I'm doing a full spread. So oh, you, you can oh, ask okay. whatever you want. Okay. As many questions as you want. Okay. Oh, mm-hmm. let me pull up my list. <laughs> just kidding. Um, yeah. Okay. I want a general, mm-hmm. you know, what for me, yeah. how am I going to be in 2022? Mm-hmm. How, like, I guess in, that includes, like, you know, relationship, mm-hmm. uh, money, career, mm-hmm. like that kind of stuff. Okay. Love that. Okay. So now I'll have. Is this the year I'm going to get a puppy? No, I know it's not. <laughs> there might be a card that jumps out for that. No. It's the puppy card. <laughs> this card means animal. <laughs> no. Here you go. I definitely can't get a puppy yet. So now I'll let you shuffle it. Look how pretty these cards are. I love those cards. This is why I like it because it's holographic. Mm-hmm. And the he'll show you the cards later. Um, but the art is so beautiful. Do you shuffle a certain way? Yeah, but I don't want to shuffle your cards the way I shuffle. I don't want to mess up your cards. See, he's traumatized because yeah. when he <laughs> <laughs> yeah. because whenever he first got into tarot, like I was already into tarot, so I had this deck. And anytime he touched my cards, well, one, you would be drunk. Yeah, I would be drunk, which was the bad part first. And it's very bad to touch my cards drunk. Well, mm-hmm. but also, like, and I, to be honest, I was drunk too. Yeah. But always the next day, I'm like, that doesn't feel right mm-hmm. to me. Yeah. You know, it's like spiritually, like, I feel like my cards are messed up and mm-hmm. I, you know, I sage them and whatever. But it would be every single time. Yeah. So anytime Zach walked in my house, he would go straight for my tarot card deck and I'd be like, okay, I had to like- put Yeah, 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 boundary up. Yeah, I was like, I'm so sorry. I love you, but you can't touch my cards unless I give you permission because 
Mm-hmm. Magical, right? Mm-hmm. But I didn't. I also didn't understand that at first either. I just thought like, oh, I can like play with whatever cards to make it whatever. Yeah. But then I learned like, oh yeah, there's like times when it affects your cards because it's your deck. Yeah. That's why I was like, okay, I don't want to like mess them up how you have them. <laughs> you have to give them a kiss for good luck. I know. And I would bend them too. Oh yeah. That was like a thing. He My cards the, are, mm-hmm. you know, like where you flip the, or, you know, when you shuffle the cards, when you bend them. Yeah. My cards are bent. But you know, I'm just, I'm just very particular. Mm-hmm. No, for sure. I feel that. Normally I'll do, if there's any that like fall out, those will be like main energies, okay. but they're so like, pretty. I know. I love your cards. I, I, I've seen other, um, Videos I don't like the where they have scary it. decks. What do you mean? Those are my favorite. I know. I know you see my deck. <laughs> the one where it's like, like Satan and demonic mm-hmm. shit. I have the which is like to me those seems more real, <laughs> more oh. official. Well, but this one, you like this one because it's pretty and holographic. Oh yeah. I have the Santa Muerte. Um, Ooh, it sounds scary. Yeah, it literally <laughs> means the death deck. <laughs> and then my clarifying cards for the Nightmare Before Christmas because they're a little bit cuter. <laughs> You're like spooky. I like spooky ones. <laughs> It's so funny. Whenever I went to um, Lorraine's house mm-hmm. um, recently, she has the same deck. We have a lot of the same things. It's crazy. Ooh, you're doing a full on mm-hmm. spread. Just so to give you visual because you can't see it. Oh, there's three. There's three stacks of three. There and then go. one and one. So just hold them up to the camera. So if you are watching, this- you can see. But also um, give verbal for okay. the people who aren't watching okay so just so they can see there's three of these sets out first i have them for past present future above those three there's one card above it that's the challenge for the year and then off to the right of me there's another card that i pulled from the bottom of the deck the deck and to me that's what she doesn't see coming <gasps> harry potter mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you see the wand? yeah <laughs> And then I I'm have, a wizard, Harry. <laughs> and then I have the other cards to the side of the deck in case, like, I want to look at those or use them for clarifications. I have those as well. Cool. I've never had a full, full spread like this. Well, because before, remember, we were like past, present, future. <laughs> yeah, because before I only had the one cards because I didn't know how to read them like that. Now, now Ooh, I know how to read it like fish. that, so I can like pull out a full spread like this. Okay. So your challenge for the year is going to be the King of Pentacles in reverse. So. I me, thought you don't do reverse. Well, you said you do. So oh, I was okay, like, okay. okay, it's going to be, if it's for your deck and then for your reading, it makes more sense to me to do it in reverse. Okay. But so for the King of Pentacles in reverse, to me, that means that the challenge would be um, a man that has stability. So your challenge this year. <laughs> is to find a man with stability. <laughs> it, it's going to be that maybe like, like, I feel like maybe this year you are going to explore um, maybe going out with people more or mm-hmm. like exploring just like like relationships in general but i think the challenging part of that and the main challenge for you is to find somebody that you're attracted to that has the stability who has the things that you want okay i Um, mean because the king of pentacles upright is a very strong stable has all his stuff together like i always look at it as also because pentacles it's like financial Mm -hmm. so somebody who is financially sexy and like something like that it's gonna be hard for you that's your challenge this year it's gonna be hard for you to find that that's sad i don't yeah. like the beginning of this <laughs> this is already bad um in the past just kidding no that's it's kind of good though because i would rather wait to find ex- yeah so it could be a good thing but, but i still haven't clarified them yet so we can clarify why that's hard why that's a challenge this okay. year um so in the recent past you have the higher or she has these three <laughs> i'm not a youtuber like this yet i didn't practice <laughs> you have to this. Hold it like this i like this <laughs> So you have the Hierophant in reverse, the Eight of Cups upright, and the Lovers upright. The Hierophant to me is is like is like truth and like bringing things together and like having how to explain the Hierophant energy. Hierophant energy to me is just like having things going your way or like having things being brought together or and having things just like that energy where you're like you know in life when like you feel like it's good, uh-huh. it's like having that, but that's in reverse. So you lack that feeling because mm-hmm. um, this is in the past. So, oh, uh, so this is the past. This is 2021 then. Okay. So in 2021, I think that you lacked the that feeling of like being. I could have told you that. <laughs> yeah. That's why it's funny because when I read them, because I know you. Uh-huh. So it's like when I read them, I can like kind of, I guess, feel the energy of where it was. Uh-huh. Um, and the Eight of Cups to me, Eight of Cups is very like before you become emotionally independent. It's getting to the point of being emotionally independent. And it's more just like seeing all the good things around you, but not exactly knowing where you're at. Like you've already because 
the six of cups and the uh, seven of cups are like having too many options, but also like feeling nostalgic. But going to eight of cups, I mean, nine of cups is being emotionally independent. Okay. So you're kind of in the middle of that moment. It's like, okay, I'm almost there. I've already gone through these other things, uh-huh. but I'm almost there. Um, and then the lovers. But in this one, I don't, the lovers, of course, can mean just like another partner or something like that. But mm-hmm. to me, this means like a choice. Mm-hmm. So I think that you're, you've made the choice to get out of that funk and to instead of be stuck in this like eight of pentacle or eight of cups energy and the hierophant energy of not having like that fulfilling life feeling mm-hmm. you're making the choice to move on forward you're mm-hmm. making the choice to get out of that um funk that funk yeah that funk and then move forward okay yeah because to me it's like i mean anytime like the cups come up it's always like of course it's like emotion and stuff like that but i always think of like filling your own cup uh-huh. And I think that's what you made the choice to do in like simpler words. Like you chose to fill your own cup. Yes. And that was in the past. Correct. So then. So far you're right. <laughs> and when you good, you good. <laughs> um, girls that get it, get it. The girls, girls that, that get don't, it, don't. don't. <laughs> <laughs> so then, oh, love this. Okay, already. Let me see. Queen of Swords, Magician. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Hold it up. So then we have these three. We have the two of wands, the magician in reverse, and the queen of swords in reverse. So this is in present moment. So this would be 2022. Okay. This would be the main challenge. So two of wands, um, choosing a direction. It's choosing where you want to go, <laughs> making a choice. <laughs> no, you're going to make me cry. I can't do this too much. <laughs> But see, but I okay, I I know the things, but like I didn't pick the cards; yeah, they just came good. out. And I'm reading them how they are, especially because the two of wands is a choice between passions of like where you want to go, um, because somewhere in what's good is that the Queen of Swords is a woman who's very statuesque. She's very, um, yes, she's intelligent, but she doesn't really talk about her feelings. She doesn't really express her emotions. She just mm-hmm. stays in her throne, looking statuesque and letting things happen Mm -hmm. but her being in reverse would mean the complete opposite she shows her emotion it's almost like queen of cups energy Mm -hmm. she shows her emotions she lets them out she wants to be more involved in things rather than just like being on her throne she wants to be out there with the people she's the queen of the people you know what i mean (gasps) that would be very that (laughs) and but then the magician reverse obviously the magician reverse or not obviously but the magician normal is having the tools that you need to manifest the things that you want and not having to look outside of it but it being reversed would mean you feel sometimes that you don't have all the things that you need and you don't have all of the like the tools that you need to actually like move on and like whatever like you want these things Mm -hmm. but you don't always feel like you have these things so with the two of wands making a choice in your passions and what you love you're gonna have to make again you're gonna have to make the choice to go on and make these things happen for yourself because you want them so bad again because it's a magician. The magician, he can make whatever he wants because he can manifest them. So to me, that's like you're gonna have to choose these things that you want and go towards them. <laughs> this is just the general spread before I even start clarifying. <laughs> oh my god! And it's funny that intuitively I thought of like the lovers as a choice because I hadn't, I haven't looked at these yeah. to what they were. Like I didn't look at them like what cards they actually are yet. Mm-hmm. So it's just funny to me that it, intuitively I was like, oh, the lovers is a choice. And then two of wands came up as a choice too. So then we just did present energy. Mm-hmm. So this was in the, this. let's say this is like the main energy for 2022, like midway throughout it. I'm like, that feels like last year energy. But we, we, haven't, but clar- also- we haven't clarified it. So we don't know like where it could be going or like stuff like that. You know okay. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because in the future. So let's say this, this is near future. So let's say this is like the end of the year okay you have the devil in reverse you have the seven of cups and you have the strength in reverse so these are the three cards so to me again like how i said the seven of cups is about like options at the end of the year you're gonna have a lot of options like things that you can do think people in your life you're gonna have a lot of different like job opportunities emotionally it's gonna feel like a lot mm-hmm. but it's it's a good thing because there's gonna be a lot of options <laughs> like emotionally feels a lot right now. <laughs> yeah it's gonna emotionally feel like a lot but it's a good thing because it's a, it's abundance like it's having a lot of different choices and things and like but that. you also have the devil in reverse so that means that codependency addictions things that things that you weigh on or that you want those aren't those oh, aren't there it's anymore reversed. yeah it, those aren't things anymore like you're not dependent on anything you're not dependent on like things that once may have had power over you stuff like that like okay. those aren't there anymore and then you have the strength in reverse 
So to me, again, I don't know why I always think that the strength in reverse is like a choice. Normally, the strength is like, I don't like people think about like the strength as being like having the courage to do whatever or having the strength. So I think it's the choice to be able to do things. Mm. And then it being in reverse, it almost kind of feels like you've made your choice because it's a, with the way that the tiger is, it's one. Mm-hmm. Normally in other strength cards, you and it's a tiger. Normally you see a, a lion for the strength card because it's a Leo card. But anyway, um, normally you see like a knight and a lion or like there's multiple things in it. Mm-hmm. With this one, there's only one. So I feel like the the choice is made, especially because there's the sun in the background mm-hmm. and the sun in tarot means happiness. And it's it light, it's like illuminating like what's secret. So there being only a sun and one animal in this, I just feel like the choice was made. Okay. I think that you made by the end of the year, you'll make a choice what's best for you. Okay. And that is what gave you all of these options mm-hmm. and what really helped you with everything. And it's great that the devil's in reverse because then that just means that all those toxic energies and like negative things that like you once maybe held on to like in these past two spreads, uh-huh. you've overcame that. Because I mean, even think of the devil, like you put it underground, like you buried it. It's like it's he's per- out of here. Period. He's out of here. <laughs> and then I was so out of breath when I do for tarot because <laughs> I speak so much in one breath. Uh-huh. Um, and then for the what you don't see coming is the ace of wands in reverse. So normally this would mean a new beginning in passions and it would mean a new beginning in things that you love or like things that you're excited about. But I don't, I don't think this is a negative thing. I don't think that you're restarting anything new. Mm -hmm. I don't think that you're restarting anything that you're passionate about. I think that you're working towards what you're passionate about and you're working with it. Okay. You know what I mean? (laughs) Yeah. This This podcast. See (laughs) what we're on. Yeah. Like I don't, cause like, I don't see it being as like, Aces are always like new and like new opportunities and da 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 da. And then the Ace of Wands means like for passion and art and whatever and like just things that drive you. But uh-huh. since it's in reverse, I just don't think that it means a new drive. I think it's a, with the rest of the spread, I think it's a drive that you already have that you're just going to continue to work with. Cool. And that could also mean why the strength is in reverse too, because because they're both in reverse. It's things that you're already doing. It's uh-huh. not things that need to be done. It's just things that you already have and have been doing. So I'm going to see if there's any other, if there's other like synchronicities throughout the cards. The only one that I see is that in the past there's the eight of cups. But remember how I said like the eight of cups was like, like how seven of cups is like the too many options. And then the eight of cups is like getting to your nine of cups. Mm -hmm. I think instead of, I'm kind of like feeling that like in the past when you had the eight of cups and you're trying so hard to like be emotionally dependent and get to that nine of cups that in the future you kind of just like take a step back and you and that's what brings you your options that's what Mm -hmm. you take a step back to kind of like look at all of the cups that you do have Mm -hmm. and you make a choice through that instead of having so many Mm -hmm. that you don't really know what to do with it i just see that if you take a step back and then you look at the cups that are given to you and you take these seven of cups, mm-hmm. that's where your options and your abundance is. Mm-hmm. It's not specifically like, it's not trying to get there. It's just having it. Okay. It's like, I, I, I don't chase, I attract. Period. Very that, like you already have it. Cool. So let me clarify. I'm going to clarify the King of Pentacles and see. This is so cool. It, I mean, all you're saying is obviously resonating. Mm-hmm. But see, I love And I love to now that you, you've you seen like my tarot journey. So like you've seen like where I was doing it before when we were on the couch and I was just like, oh, this means this. Uh-huh. And now I'm and at like this. <laughs> yeah. How do you know what to say? So readers will do it differently where they kind of like they will learn ex- the exact meanings of the cards and then um, they'll just tell you straight up like what it is and like how it works for them. But for me, I'm more intuitively read Mm -hmm. so like i'll see things that are in the cards because every deck is different yeah so it's like i'll see things that are in those cards and i'll be like or the picture or whatever and be like oh this this is what's in my head this is what i'm gonna say Mm -hmm. and these cards combined together this is what they mean to me Mm -hmm. because the read the point of a reading i think is like you're connecting with that person who's giving them to you Mm -hmm. so what they have to say is going to resonate with you because the universe is going to put you two together to do that reading for Cool. A, an example like a real thing yeah 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 and then you also like because you said that you notice the picture so you see by the picture too like what the picture makes you feel yeah so like the the like the how the strength was in reverse normally i feel like if you're just a norm like going by the book mm-hmm. that would mean that you're sad and you're upset and you don't know what to do in a situation but mm-hmm. me seeing the sun in it in the background which in tarot the sun is like 
everything being illuminated and like happiness. It's the light. Yeah, like the light. It's it's like why why else would the sun be there if I wasn't meant to see that? Yeah. In that moment. Okay. So that's cool. how I read stuff like that. Yeah. I used to work with an intuitive healer. Mm-hmm. So like that's why I understand the whole like what you intuitively feel. Mm-hmm. Because for example, like she was teaching us about how you know, like whenever you're like you're meditating, like say an animal shows up, mm-hmm. like it's like, what does that animal mean? And like, mm-hmm. it's like an intuitive feeling. So that's why I was like, I'm like, how do you read it? But because mm-hmm. even again, again with the strength card, it's like I, I didn't see a lion. Normally there's a lion in strength cards. Uh-huh. It's like, why is that one a tiger? And why is it only one? So it's like it has it's, it's like changing your stripes. Yeah. You know what I mean? The stripes on a tiger, like they change whatever. That's do stripes on a tiger change. No, but there's some saying like that. <laughs> I'm like, wait, no, 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 is no. there something I don't, I don't know. know? There's some saying that's like that. And I, I like. Yeah, yeah I, I get I get what you're saying. I reminisced on it when I saw the thing. It was like, I don't remember what the, the saying is, but <laughs> it's like that. It's like, it's like changing. It's like, I don't feel like it's, it's like not being able to have the strength. I think you do have the strength. It's mm-hmm. just you had. And then it being singular was like a singular choice. Because yeah, the yeah. other one before, because both of them are fire cards. Strength is a fire card. Two of wands is a fire card. So why was there two here? But in the future, there's one. It's because you made that choice. Cool. You decided to go on the. You decided to go on which path you wanted, and that's why you're there. On this one, I'm going to clarify the lovers. I love that card. It's so cute. I know the flamingos. Mm-hmm. I'm going to clarify the lovers there. I'm going to clarify the magician here. When my hair was pink, I was like, "That's me." That is you. That <laughs> still is you, though. Look yeah. at her. And then I think here I'm going to clarify. I want to clarify the seven of cups. Get you. So we're going to clarify the King of Pentacles. Clarify the King of Pentacles. That feels good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. So for the King of Pentacles, to clarifying it, normally I would clarify with another deck, but I feel like I can do it with just her deck. It works out. Okay. So we have the King of Cups upright. We have the Judgment in reverse, and we have the High Priestess in reverse. To me, the High Priestess is like, is like the magician but the feminine energy of it okay so like magician to me is like maybe like again like having the strength to manifest whatever Mm -hmm. to me the high priestess she wants to manifest love she wants to manifest a family she wants to manifest emotional stability here with the king of pentacles being in reverse and then that being the challenge for you is not finding a man that's stable Mm -hmm. there's the the king of cups upright so it's not going to be hard for you to find a guy that you're emotionally invested in you who's emotionally invested in or, or that you're emotionally invested in and that who's emotionally invested into you. Mm-hmm. It's going to be hard to find somebody who's both like um, stable and emotionally fulfilling. Oh. That's the part because you because, of course, like the high priestess is like she also can Story be about my life. <laughs> she can also be about <laughs> like visions and like she's the the feminine magician. So obviously like intuitiveness and like divination like visions so with the high priestess being in reverse you don't see that you don't see the you don't see the king of cups and the the king of cups and the king of pentacles in one person okay so like you feel them emotionally and you feel like they get you emotionally but you don't see marriage because you don't see stability you don't see it really going anywhere and that'll be a challenge okay to find that in both and then the judgment in reverse means you won't make a choice about them so like you're not gonna i think that the challenge of the challenge of the year that's going to hit you the most emotionally is like not being able to be like why can't they have both like i'm just not gonna make a decision about it. i'm just not gonna i'm just gonna date them both <laughs> well, i don't think it's i don't think it's um i mean i think it's separate people but i don't think it's like like i don't think that there's a king of pentacles and then there's a, a king of cups mm-hmm. i think they're there's the same person okay i think there could be multiple but it's harder for you because you can't find both of these qualities in a person mm. you can find the emotional attachment and you can find the emotional fulfillment from somebody but you can't find the stability from them mm. like you don't see them having a house you don't see them having a home you don't see them having a being able to pay for the wedding or like go on trips or stuff like that they're not that but, but the emotion okay. yeah so that that's your I, challenge i am a rich man see there you go <laughs> you're the rich man, I'm the rich man. <laughs> it's fine so you're just like okay cool and then the judgment is like, you're just not going to make a choice about it. That's the hard part. It's mm-hmm. like, you're not going to, it's going to be more of like a situation of like, I don't know what to do. Mm. I just don't, like, I don't see the vision of it. I Me? don't know what to do. Yeah. Me so I think that's the biggest challenge for the year. Okay. That's a, well, that's future does this problem. We'll yeah. Figure that out. Let 2022 does deal with that in a little bit. 
But then it's like the lovers are there, so you've made a choice about something. Even though readings are timeless as well, and this could be 2021, it could pull into the early part of 2022 if it feels like, if you remember the reading and it resonates, mm -hmm. it could be the same way. So then I'm going to clarify the lovers, five of wands, knight of pentacles, queen of cups. Mm. That one's pretty. That's funny. So so funny. Can't wait just, to find out. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> so uh, clarifying the, the lovers card, we have the five of wands in reverse, the knight of pentacles, and the queen of cups. So I think in the past, is what it was is, I mean, this is obvious. I feel like I'm going to say something that you already know you felt like you needed to bring in your own stability. You needed to be the one to deliver the money to you. Mm -hmm. And like the, the, I mean, I want to say it's with the king of cups. Cause I feel like the queen of cups is definitely you right now. In this like in the spread. Mm -hmm. Cause she's somebody who is emotionally fulfilling. Cause I even said before how you were the queen of swords in reverse, but it was giving me queen of cups energy. Uh -huh. So literally, and then she comes up in the clarification. <laughs> so I feel like that is you, like you have this like queen of cups energy where you're emotionally fulfilling yourself. You're emotionally stable. Like you're in this, like, can I see her? Yeah. Look at her, how pretty she is. Literally. That's me. That's you. Look, she's a mermaid. And look at her filling her own cup, holding her own cup. Period. <laughs> but continue. And then being like the Knight of Pentacles, you had to bring that stability to yourself. You weren't going to wait for anybody else to get on their horse and oh. deliver this to you. Yeah, no you were going to do it yourself. And that's what stopped the conflict in your head because normally the Five of Wands would be conflict and fights and violence. You stopped that yourself. That's what you made the choice to do. You wanted to like get rid of this outer conflict and this inner conflict. And mm -hmm. you decided that you were going to be your own emotional fulfillment and you were going to bring your own stability to yourself. Love that. Per. I love that for me. That was great. Yeah. I felt that energy. As soon as I saw that Queen of Cups, I went, wait. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So I'm going to see why in the present moment you feel as if you don't have like the tools to manifest what you want. You know, uh, no, I'll, I'll let you say what you say first and then I'll say what I want to say. Okay. <laughs> I want to see why there's that energy of like not thinking you have all the tools three of wands five of swords queen of wands okay so i feel like i would say she's dancing on a pole she is she's a stripper <laughs> queen of wands is a stripper energy she play it energy because again in the three of wands i see the sun again mm -hmm. so like there's there's like happiness there but five of swords is something mental so it's kind of like a, like about things that you're, it's like you're happy about the things that you love and like you really, you want to move towards them and like you want, you're like, you're going to move towards them. Like, obviously I saw the sun in the present moment. I saw the sun in the future. So mm -hmm. it's there. But then the five of swords to me again is like, it's like, a, it's a conflict, but the, to me, the five of wands, that's conflict externally. The Five of Swords to me is conflict internally. Okay. So I feel like there's there's like this back and forth like thing in your head of like, I know I can go there, but I don't know why I'm not getting there. But also the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is somebody who is fiery. She is, she's going to get what she wants and she's going to get it no matter how. She's like Slytherin. She's a <laughs> Slytherin woman is the Queen of Wands. Okay. She'll get there however she needs to get there and do what she has to do to get there. But I feel like with the Queen of Wands in reverse, I think that the Five of Swords is kind of, because also to I, it's kind of like the way that the cards laid. I'm going to show them first, but I'll show you after. So it came up like this. So I, and then when I was holding it, the head was in the middle of right here. So that just tells me that what's blocking you is your thoughts. Cause there's all these swords that are in the, that are around the, the head in reverse. Uh -huh. And it's, she's upside down. She's like in this, like, she's like, she's taken over by her thoughts basically. And it's her own thoughts Story that are blocking her. Of my life. Yeah. That are blocking her from being this person that's so like fiery and just like energetically like ready for it. It's her own thoughts that are doing it, but she wants to move forward. She wants to go there. She sees the sun in the future. She sees the end result. I know. I see it. Yeah, she sees the end result. I see it she clearly. Just, yeah. It's the swords in her head that are blocking her from getting her in the energy that she wants to go to be there. Yeah. What were you going to say? I don't even remember, <laughs> but yeah, that very much that. <laughs> I literally don't even remember. <laughs> you were like, oh, is that what that is? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> so then, it's true. That's literally I'm I I I've known that. Yeah. I'm literally the only one standing in my own way mm. from greatness. Yeah. Cause okay, she, we're working on it. Cause like you definitely have the the potential to be this like 
queen of wands upright who is like she on her pole she doing her damn thing she's mm-hmm. like she does whatever she wants thick but strip. she's in reverse because of the five of swords yeah thick strip so. <laughs> but she's in she's upside down and she's like can't move herself up because she's in these swords in her head because yeah i don't because normally the five of swords really doesn't mean that but like just to me in the reading it felt like okay why was there the five five of wands getting out of it is interesting how her head is in it yeah right isn't that weird how like it like lines up perfectly mm-hmm. i wonder if they did that on purpose the creator mm-hmm. it could have been i was just like i just noticed it whenever i saw it i was like why is it when i'm holding it over these swords it's like right there in the middle of mm-hmm. and then swords represent thought and clarity and whatever that would to me that's what it would mean oh. and then for the last oh no, no second to the last one we have the seven of cups so this is um what are all the options and like abundance that you'll be see- receiving at the end of the year we have ace of pentacles temperance the tower <laughs> okay cool a lot of tarot readers would say that the tower is like a bad card it's basically just like the visual is like a tower being struck by lightning and like having to come all the way down and like stuff like that mm-hmm. so it's normally just like a really big problem that somebody has to go through but and since it's in reverse and it's at the end of this reading it means that you've already gone through your tower moment. It means that you've gone through all the things that you needed to do to get this abundance. So you're going to be energetically aligned mm-hmm. by the end of the year with what you deserve and what you've been manifesting and what you're going to get. Because in the back of the tower card, usually too, you'll see like the sun because that's the card that comes after the tower. So it's like whenever it's all brought down, it's just a chance to rebuild yourself. Mm-hmm. But since it's in reverse for you, you don't need to rebuild yourself. You've already built yourself up. Mm-hmm. You're already this castle. So that's where you're at at the end of this. (laughs) (laughs) And then call me a castle. (laughs) And it's even cuter too, because to me, like um, the temperance, temperance is about like balance. Yeah, balance, patience. Like she, then usually in like other cards, I'm thinking about my deck. It's a a woman and she's holding a cup and she has two and she's filling up the other cup. Mm -hmm. So again, it means you're filling up your own cup, just like the queen of cups energy Mm -hmm. you've already made this castle for yourself you're filling your own cup you're doing everything that you can to energetically align yourself to be where you need to be to get these abundances and to get these gifts that you're going to get the only thing i see is um it's the ace of pentacles in reverse again aces would mean new things and then pentacles would be like new riches and new whatever i don't see that as because the aces that you've got are in reverse Mm -hmm. so i don't it's nothing new new. it's nothing new new that like is coming in it's things that you've I think the meaning of it mostly is just these are the things that you've worked for. Mm -hmm. So these are the things that you're going to get. These are the things. Yeah. It's like this is everything. This is what you've asked for. This is what you wanted. This is what you've worked towards. This is what you're going to get. So it's not anything new in work or like anything new in things that like you're passionate about. It's just things that you've already been working on that you'll get. Cool. And then we'll just clarify the last one and I'll give you advice and we'll be good. I love the temperance card. That's what um, the artwork I have in my bathroom. Oh, really? Yeah. If you uh, above my toilet, Mm -hmm. like I have the temperance card. You should look at it. It's it's my favorite like art piece. Oh, I've never seen it. It's like a girl. It's it's like a tarot card. And then it's a girl like she looks like me. Mm -hmm. Um, But she's like like making a bath and it's like plants and like she's pouring like potions. (gasps) And it's so cute. Yeah. And whenever I learned what temperance is, I'm like. At that at that time, I was like, "That's what I need." Mm-hmm. And I was like, "I need balance. I need to fill up my own cup." Mm-hmm. And I I always I don't know if other people do this, but whenever I read tarot cards, I have signal cards for certain things. Mm-hmm. So temperance could be like your signal card for like that's like for me like if I if I'm hearing a reading or whatever, and then they pull out um, the empress, mm-hmm. I'm like, "That's me. That means this is my reading." Because oh. not every pull will have that yeah i mean sometimes it resonates or not but to me the empress is about growth and that's mm-hmm. like my main thing and i feel like i'm very much in feminine energy oh. so i'm like if they pull that empress card that's where it is in the deck for me and that's what it means oh. so temperance could be yours and it's yeah. funny that it comes up in the future along with gaining all your riches because you connect with that card <laughs> i'm a castle <laughs> i'll I'm never let that <laughs> I'm like, you that. know i'm a castle <laughs> zach said i'm a castle <laughs> I'm dead. I tell you, you're a bat next. I'm no. <laughs> like I'm a bat in a castle. You say bat? Yeah. Okay. Bat. <laughs> I'm a bat in a castle. I'm just a bat in a castle. <laughs> so then, and what you don't see coming with it being your your own passions that you already have. Funny that I talk about that. What is the Princess of Cups in this deck? Does it say uh, Princess of Cups? Yeah, that's not in every deck. Yes, it's here. Uh, is it upside down or? It's upside down. Oh, I mean that's that's not that bad compared with these cards so basically um 
the princess of cups in this deck is saying just like she's above the queen of cups like she's um she doesn't have that emotional stability yet she doesn't um have the maturity to see things but um <laughs> oh. With, oh sorry with the uh, ace of cups in or ace of wands in reverse um she has the star upright um the chariot in reverse and the princess of cups in reverse and it's funny because whenever you were showing them your debt or the thing the the book the book the one that opened was the star, star. and that's the last card you just got in this thing oh, magic that's funny um the star is all so funny. and you're gonna die when you that's why i, I laughed too because the star is the card of healing it's all about. <laughs> <You're making me laughs> That's all I really want. I know. The star card is the card all about like healing, and it's just about like reaching your goals and seeing them ahead of you and moving, which has basically been this reading. But it's all about like moving towards your dreams and moving towards what you want and like seeing the the North Star and being uh -huh. like, "That's where I am. That's where I'm gonna go." But uh -huh. it's also a card about like healing and becoming like this bigger, better person. Uh -huh. Um, and then also with like the Princess of Cups in reverse, and then the Chariot in reverse. It's like, it's again, it's along with the Ace of Wands in reverse, the Chariot, you're not moving forward. It's because you're where you're supposed to be. Like, uh -huh. you're not gonna, you're where, it, it, I think to me, it's signifying just like, see, like how this woman's like riding all willy nilly, she like said, on this woo. thing. She said, woo. It's like, <laughs> you're, it's like, you don't need to move forward. You don't need to like, whatever. You need to be right where you're at because you're where you need to be. You just need to be doing that. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Instead of thinking like, almost like the grass is greener over there. Mm -hmm. No, it's it's green right here. Wow, you know, that's so interesting because I think that's one of the big things I've trained myself and learned healed to get to mm -hmm. like now mm -hmm. because before I've always been like I want that. Mm -hmm. I want that. I want what they have. Mm -hmm. But now I'm like I super understand. I'm like no, I want my things. What? He went <gasps> cuz the click in my head when I was like no, how like the grass is greener over there. Uh -huh. No, it's green right here. Uh -huh. Remember yes or earlier I was telling you it looks like you're going over a fence and watering your neighbor's <gasps> grass. Yeah. That just gave me goosebumps cuz it clicked in my head. It's like no, you need to water your own grass yeah. like right where you're at. Was that in this pot or was it the other one? We were just when we were just sitting there oh, talking. Oh, we were just saying talking. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Synchronicities. Yeah. I love it. So yeah, basically Zach was telling me how like the way I uh, no, it was in the other pod. I swear. Was it? Because we were sitting here. Okay. I was basically saying how like how I visualize like how you do things. It's like you're in your yard, but you're reaching over the fence and you're watering your neighbor's yard. Yeah. And you should be watering. Oh, because yours. I'm like I was trying to help everyone else grow yeah. and not mm -hmm. myself. But now I understand. I'm like, oh, I should. Help you know, water grow. your own lawn. Yeah. <laughs> because then I can help them water their mm -hmm. yard. Exactly. If you're your own yard, make the whole neighborhood pretty, not just yeah. your neighbors. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll pull just three cards for advice just in case. And then that'll be the end of it. Wow. That'll be the this full reading. Intense. I've never got a full reading. Mm -hmm. I've got like, you know, a little little thing. A little here and there. Yeah. Oh, no. I go the full thing. So I think that the main, because the start, the start card has been a thing since the beginning of that when I felt that card and I was like, oh, and then it ended up being the last one here. So I think that this year is definitely the main lesson is healing. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. Sounds about right. So then the last three cards we have for the advice is the oh. world, the world, the Empress in reverse, <laughs> and the Nine of Cups. Oh, I don't know what that means, <laughs> but yay. <laughs> um, so. Those are the ones oh, you wait. just talked about, too. Yeah, yeah. That's why it's funny. because Okay, so she got the world, she got the Empress in reverse, and then she got the nine of cups so remember how i was saying in the beginning of the reading like your eight of cups was to move towards your nine of cups yeah. for like emotional uh stability and independence uh -huh. that's what you got as your advice it's like you're gonna be emotionally independent you're gonna, you're gonna reach your nine of cups um and then to me the that. the world is i feel like you're gonna feel this <laughs> um <laughs> let me say the front first, first so the emperor's in reverse is like i think that you already know i think you know deep inside because if it to me like if it's growth upright then upside down would be internally so i th inward. and this is yeah inward and then this is the divine energy so i think that you internally know you're gonna get all of these things and i think internally you know that you're gonna have emotional independence see how it even has like the main heart and love yeah, too so but cute. that's that's not loving somebody else that's loving yourself Aww. that's what that one is that's why there's the one cup inside of the heart Aww. and then so i think you already know all of these things are going to happen it's kind of like in the present moment where you are letting this five of swords cut through your entire deck. You're mm -hmm. letting it shred through the entire thing versus just like 
just knowing that you are divine feminine and that this is yours. And then the world card is a cycle ending. So that means that the cycle of you doubting yourself is going to end Thank God. this year. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> and I feel it already. Yeah. Like I feel it for sure. Mm -hmm. It's still there. Well, yeah. I mean, we're not at the end of the year, but it's yeah. just the advice. It's like telling you like, look inward, know your divine energy, love yourself, know that the cycle is going to end. It's like, it's going to, this is the spirit being like, these are like crazy three cards to get together. But it's crazy because that's exactly how... <laughs> Yeah. And I haven't told you any of this. I know. Like how I'm like working on my divine feminine energy mm -hmm. and like obviously healing and yeah. like that's crazy. That's just like a crazy like combination of cards to get for that advice. Yeah. Why? Just just in this situation because it's like the advice is to love yourself and to know that you have this divine energy power and then like the because remember I told you I was like because it was like like this mm -hmm. and then I was like oh wait I want to read the Empress one first. And then to tell you the world last, meaning like a cycle will end. Yeah. It's just crazy how it like flowed. I'm just like, who will I be in 2023 if I'm all here? <laughs> I guess we'll get there. Uh -huh. It'll be like, she's coming, girl. She's coming good. Wow. Thank you. Good of job, course. Thanks. That was so good. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, my God. You should do readings like, I for people. Yeah. Y'all are in LA area. And you $100. Guys want to do I ain't playing. <laughs> well, I don't know how much you schedule a personal reading with me at at Zachary Edward on oh, Instagram. <laughs> do it. No, because this was sickening. He did the full thing. Mm -hmm. Wow, I have a lot to sit on. Now. I'm down. I mean, but it's it's so funny with everything you said. Like, it's not even out of left field or like mind blowing. It's mm -hmm. very, it makes me feel like one relieved mm -hmm. and like calm. Yeah, because it's very all true. Because that's what I mean by like when I read tarot cards, I don't. I just think of them as perspective. It's like yeah, yeah. They usually yeah, usually they know like what I'm going through and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But instead of telling me the future because things are always going to change, yeah. it's just telling me. No matter what happens, this is what you should look forward to. Yeah. No matter what's in the middle. Yeah. It's just like, this is what, this will be the end result. Like, you know what I mean? It just doesn't matter what you go through. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy. I'm happy we recorded this so I could listen to it. Oh, yeah. Back again. That's and be I so can be good. like, wait, wait, wait. Oh, and then what if we listen to it in like 2023? <gasps> oh, my God. And then we'll do another reading. I'm sure we'll do many readings this year. I'm down. Yeah. I love that. Thank you. Of I love you. I love you too. <laughs> 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 oh well thank you guys for listening to my tarot reading thank you zach of make course. sure you guys follow zach at zachary edward uh hit him up if you want tarot reading because this was good Let and <laughs> yeah make sure you follow at feelings feeling feelings and me at diazabelle and yeah we'll see you guys next time bye <laughs> <laughs> you're legit my co-host i know <laughs> Thank you for listening to this episode of Feelings, Feeling, Feelings. I hope your feelings are feeling something right now. Make sure you follow at Feelings, Feelings, Feelings on Instagram to join the Feelings, Feelings, Feelings community. I just want to remind you, you are magical, you are beautiful, and I love you. Now go drink a glass of water and tell yourself you love you in the mirror.